Number 41. Balance each of the following equations according to the half reaction method. Okay, and then we have letter A. So in this case, we have MnO4 minus plus a nitrite, which is NO2 minus, and that will yield MnO2 solid plus nitrate, which is NO3 minus. And we have to do this all in a basic solution. Okay, so you've done tons of these already, right? And there should be no surprise that if we want to balance something in a basic solution, the first thing we got to do is get that acidic answer. Ugh. I know, I know. So much fun, <laughs> right? I, I'm with you guys. I'm with you guys. But more practice with acidic solutions. This one is the big boy, all right? So this is where we're going to be doing all of our steps. So if you guys know your acidic solution, then the basic solution is just a couple of additional steps, all right? So let's get that acidic answer. The first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to break this whole thing into two half reactions and pick the elements that go together. Pick the compounds that go together. Look for similar elements. Well, I have a MnO4 here, right? So I have a manganese. And on the product side, I have a manganese in this compound. So it seems that these are going to go together. And it makes sense because the other two have nitrogens in it, right? Nitrite for NO2. And then I have NO3. So the nitrogens go together. So we have this linking up to this. That's one half reaction. And then we have this linking up with this. And that's the other half reaction. So let's write them down. So we have MnO4 minus, and that's aqueous. And that will yield MnO2 solid. And then we have NO2 minus aqueous. And that will yield NO3 minus aqueous. Okay. First part done. Now let's do the second step. We need to balance all of the elements except for hydrogen and except for oxygen. So don't look at your hydrogens or oxygens. First thing I see is that I don't have any hydrogens, so I'm not even going to worry about that. But I do have oxygens here, but I'm not going to balance them. I'm only looking at the manganese on top and the nitrogen on the bottom. But if you see, right, I have one MN. I got one MN, so that's balanced. I got one nitrogen. I got one nitrogen, so that's balanced. So this step was done for us. It's already balanced, so we can just skip right over. Now let's balance those oxygens. We balance the oxygens by adding H2O. So just know that if you need to add one oxygen on any side, you're always going to add it in terms of one H2O. So if you need to add two oxygens, you'll add two H2Os. Three oxygens, three H2Os. So let's see here. I have an oxygen for the first step, right? And I have an oxygen over here. I have four oxygens on the left side, but I only have two oxygens on the right side. So if I have a total of four and only two, it looks like I need to add oxygen on this side. How many? Two more, right? Two plus two would equal four. And if I need to add four oxygens, I'll add four H2Os. So four, oop, just kidding. I only need two, right? We can make mistakes, but just make sure that you, you know, correct them. Two H2Os. There you go. And then two oxygen plus two oxygen will get us to the four oxygen. Now let's do the same thing for the bottom. I have oxygen on the left. I have oxygen on the right. I have two oxygens on my left. I got three oxygens on my right. So it looks like I need to add one more, right? And I need to add it on this side. So... I just need one oxygen, so that would be just one H2O. Cool. This step is done. Okay, almost halfway there for the acidic one. Now we got to balance the hydrogen, and we balance the hydrogen by adding H+. So the same type of rule applies. If I need to add one hydrogen to either side, I'm going to add it as one H+. So two hydrogens, two H+. Three hydrogens, three H+. So let's go to the top. I have no hydrogens on the left side, but on my right side, I added hydrogens by adding the H2O. How many? Well, I have two, but then there's a two in front of here. 
So two times two is four. There's a total of four hydrogens on my product side. I have no hydrogens on this side. So I got to add four H pluses. Don't forget that plus guys. And now the hydrogens are balanced. Let's do the same thing for the bottom. I have now hydrogen because of the water and I have two of them. I have no hydrogen on this side. So to balance it, I'm going to add two H plus because I have two hydrogen here. Now that step's done. Now we have to balance the charges. We balance the charges by adding electrons. E negative. You add those negative electrons, electrons are negative, to always the more positive side. You're always bringing the more positive side down to the more negative side. But we now got to figure out what side out of my half reaction is more positive. Well, that's when we find the total charge. Split this up. And let's see, go for that upper right-hand corner. Let's work from left to right. I see that I have a plus charge here. That means that it's an overall plus one. However, there's four of them. So four times a plus one, the overall charge for this would be a plus four. This one, I have a negative charge, which means negative one, but there's only one of these. So one times a negative one is a negative one. So now I just have to add these together, right? A plus four plus a negative one, AKA a plus four minus one, four minus one is a plus three. So I have an overall plus three charge on my left side. And now let's find out what the overall charge of the right side is. So that's that. But for both of these, I don't see any charges in the upper right hand corner. If you don't see a charge in the upper right hand corner, they're neutral. They're not positive nor negative. So the overall charge would be zero. And it doesn't matter that there's two of these, right? Anything times zero is zero. So I have zero for the MnO2. The overall charge of H2O would be zero. Zero plus zero is zero. Now let's see which side is more positive, right? We always add electrons to the more positive side. Well, out of a plus three and a zero, a plus three is more positive. So I know that I have to add electrons to this side, but how many? Well, how many numbers would I need to go on a number line to go from a three to a zero? Yeah, three numbers away, right? The difference is three. So I need to add three electrons, right? And that part is done. Now I have to do the same for the bottom. So the same thing applies, right? I don't see a charge in the upper right hand corner for H2O. So that would be neutral. That's zero. So there's an overall zero charge for this one, right? And I need to plus that, right? Plus with the charge of the NO2. There's a minus one here, right? And there's only one of these. So one times a negative one is a negative one. So zero plus a negative one would be a overall negative one charge. Maybe I'll just put it over here, negative one. And now we just do the same for the other side. Well, NO3 has a negative one. There's only one of these. So negative one coming in from the nitrate. And now that needs to be added with the H plus plus one. However, there's two of them. So I have to multiply two times a plus one is a plus two. And then you add these two together, negative one plus a positive two or two minus one is a plus one. Okay. Now out of these two charges, which is the more positive side, definitely the plus one. So now I know that the electrons are on this side, but now how many, well, how many numbers does it take to go down from a plus one to a negative one? two numbers, right? I got to go to zero first and then I can go to negative one. So there are two numbers away. That's how many electrons I need to add. Okay. Now that part is done. Now, before we do part six, I'm just going to clean up a little bit, um, all the math that we did for the first part, because, uh, we don't really have to worry about that anymore. So I'm just getting rid of all this stuff just so that I have more room. Okay, that gets rid of this. We'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of this. Ooh, so much work for these guys, but it's very well worth it. What do you guys think? Okay. Now let's balance those electrons, right? Let's balance the electrons. We need to make sure that they're the same number. 
So I have three electrons on my left side and I have two electrons on my right side. Are they balanced? No, they're not, right? Now, what's the next number that they have in common? By multiplication, right? Three and two, I both can multiply them by each other to get six, right? That would be the next number that they have in common. I could take this whole equation and times it by two, and then two times three is six, and then I can multiply this whole equation by three, and then three times two is six. But now, you gotta be fair. If you multiply this coefficient, you gotta multiply every coefficient. And the same thing for the bottom. If you multiply this coefficient to get to six, you gotta multiply every coefficient. So we just gotta take our time and just make the changes for every single coefficient. So let's start from the top, right? You're multiplying the whole top equation by two. So three times two is now going to be six. Cool. I had four H pluses, but now four times two is eight. So I'm gonna change that one. I had one MnO4, but now one times two is two MnO4 minuses. I had one MnO2, and one times two is two. And now I had two H2Os, right? Two H2Os, two times two is now four. And once I did that, I can now strip this away. I did the, the multiplication. Now I have to do the same for the bottom. But now the bottom, all of the numbers are being multiplied by three. So let's change all of those coefficients. I had one H2O here, but now one times three is three. I had one nitrite, so one times three is now three. I had one nitrate, but one times three is three. I had two H pluses, two times three is six. And then I had two electrons, two times three is six. Okay, and since I did all the multiplication, I could get rid of this. And now we're at the end of that step. So now what was the point of that? Well, we never have electrons at the end of our complete balance equation. So now we're gonna cancel the like substances out that are on opposite sides. We're just simplifying here. So that was the whole thing here. I multiplied the whole equation to get those electrons to be the same number so that I could cancel them out. What fun. <laughs> but let's see if anything else can get canceled. Well, let's see, I look across, I, I look across the divider and I see that I have eight H pluses, and maybe let me make that a different color. I have eight H pluses on the left side here, and I have six H pluses. They're not the same number, but they're the same substance. They're both H plus. And, and we'll get rid of them by subtraction here. So if I get rid of all of the six here, that means I have none left, but that means I have to subtract by six, right? So what would be the new amount of H pluses on this side? Eight minus six is now two H pluses. So this will not be here anymore. I have two H pluses. So maybe I can just, if I can, I'll just get rid of this and just make it more simple. Okay, let's see, what else? Oh, the waters, right? I have four H2Os on this side. I have three H2Os on this side. So they can get canceled out. If I get rid of all of my three, how many would be remaining here? Four minus three is one. So you only have one H2O left over. So maybe I'll just say H2O. And nothing else I can cancel out, right? Everything else is unique. So now I'm just gonna simplify. You rewrite everything as one equation. Now, since we have to do the base, I'm just going to kind of uh, clean this up a little bit. This is going bye-bye. This is going bye-bye. Let's see, what else? This is going bye-bye, and so is this. So let's see, maybe I can bring all of this, let's see, I'm gonna bring all this down here, the beauty of technology. I'm gonna bring all of this down here, right, and add a plus sign, and then I'm just gonna get rid of this. How lovely is that? I'm just gonna make a new yield sign, and there is my acidic answer. So if we needed this equation in acidic solution, this is it. So we're done.
But now we got to get the basic solution. So we already did step one. We got the acidic answer. Now just comes a couple of different steps. The first thing is that we're going to add as many OH minuses as we have H pluses, but to both sides. You got to be fair. The H plus is what makes this equation acidic. The OH minus is what makes it basic. So I'm looking for the H pluses. I see that they're over here. I see that I have two of them. You add as many OH minuses as you have H pluses. So since I have two H pluses, I'm going to add two OH minuses. But if I add two OH minuses to this side, I have to add two OH minuses to the product side as well. And that step is done. Now all we have to do is just simplify. You're going to cancel out your like waters. Keep in mind that H plus plus OH minus will yield water. So anytime that H plus comes in contact with OH minus, you will make water. And it, the stoichiometric ratio is a 1 to 1 to 1. So if you have two H pluses and two OH minuses, you'll make two H2Os. If you have three H plus and three OH minuses, you'll make three H2Os. Here, we had two H pluses, two OH minuses. So what does this really become? Two H2Os. And now you simplify the waters, right? If this doesn't exist anymore, I can basically get rid of this, right? And I can just say that this would be two H2O. And I have two H2O on the left side. I have one H2O on my product side. So simplify it. If I get rid of all of this one H2O, how many is left? Well, two minus one is one. So I now have only one H2O and this doesn't exist anymore. And I'm just going to pull this closer. And that's the end. This is your basic solution, guys. And maybe I'll just write down, this is your basic solution. That's it. Okay. What do you guys think? Hopefully this helped. Um, if it did, let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you guys. Um, yeah, these are, these are doozies, but we got them. Okay. So just take your time. Just make sure that you memorize the steps and I'm sure that you guys are going to do great on your quizzes or tests. Okay. I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.